What's up everybody, welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Tonight we're gonna to talk about something and it is definitely something that I wanna get this point across so that people understand the difference, okay? There are two different things. There are two different types of people that are in the fitness industry. There's a lot of different people. But anyways, we're gonna kinda of narrow it down to these two different things which are, are kind of in the same realm, okay? Number one, there are the people that read stuff online, read some books, and they remember what they read, and therefore they think that they actually know the material, which is not necessarily true. Memorization doesn't necessarily mean that you know things. Then there's the type of people that have either read it or applied the information and truly understand how it works. And there is the people that read it, that think they understand how it works, that really don't understand how it works, People don't really know that they don't know because when they speak or when they write or they type some shit, it looks like they actually know, but you have to actually know what you're looking at to understand that that person doesn't really understand. Now, Jerry, what am I talking about? Okay, so I put out the video about science proves if you eat more calories, you can lose more fat. Now, I've been struggling for years explaining to people that you can gain fat in a deficit, you can lose muscle in a fucking surplus, and people... I think by now are fucking getting it. I think people understand now because you can't argue that fact. If you manipulate the macros a certain way, whether it's a, a deficit or whether it's a, a surplus, you can have the opposite effect. It can it can happen. The opposite effect can happen. Okay. So if you go by what these people that are science, you know, science based individuals, they say it's impossible because science says and science rules everything. Science says it can't happen. Science says only one thing works this way and that's it. It can't go this way, can't go this way, can't go this way. It goes just goes this way. That's it. Not true. Now I read in the comment section, which I've actually been going through the comment section a little bit lately, which um you know after the this Avengers Endgame video I put up, which I had actually people, you know, talk about the Avengers End, I said, hey, you know, go down below. I'm gonna kinda look into it and check this comment section out afterwards. I did it again. I did it again with this video. I said, let me just go in there and see what's going on. It's been very positive for quite a while. Okay, you get some assholes in there, but there's assholes all over the world. They're going to pop in no matter what anyways. But in general, let's see, you know, with the positivity. I like positivity. Let's roll with it, right? And I see this response from Ant, Ant Degar. Ant Degar. Anyways. So he says, why doesn't Jerry understand that it is calories in and calories out? Protein increases calories out. That's how weight loss occurs. It's simple. Now, just by him saying that, I can tell he doesn't understand it. And he doesn't understand what the fuck the whole video was about. He's stuck on what he wants to say to people because he feels like he has something to say. Atgar, Antgar, and how whatever the fuck you say your name what you just said proves what I have been saying all along for the last fucking eight years on YouTube. What you just said. Why doesn't Jerry understand? Well, actually, Jerry understands a lot more than you think he does. Matter of fact, Jerry understands things that you don't understand because I'm not placed inside this box where if I haven't read about it in a study somewhere or if I haven't read about it somewhere, that I don't know what exists. You know why? Because I cannot read about something, go in the gym, see that it happens, reapply it over and over again, get to be able to replicate it over and over again and now know that this works like this and this happens without ever reading a single thing. Whereas you'll read something, never fucking apply it, but they think you know because you read it. What you don't know is that one thing works, but so does these other 12 things the same way. And there are other things that are more efficient than little things that you know that you've been told or read online. That being said, um, protein increases calories out. That's how weight loss occurs. It's simple. Well, actually, that's not how weight loss occurs. It's just one way how weight loss occurs. Actually, matter of fact, that's how muscle mass is actually increased by increasing your protein. The amino acids are there. You can increase as long as you have that stimulant for, stimulus from the weight training and you use progressive resistance. That'll do that. But you, this, this statement right here that you said, exactly how you said it, means that people would be able to just eat protein and lose fat which that is a false statement. You don't just eat protein and burn more calories and there's more calories out because you eat protein. That's not how that works. That protein worked like that a specific way in that study because of the way somebody was training. Okay, there are very, very specifics. But let's just say what you said, we'll just take what you said, Adgenar, Adgenar, Adnodes, Adnoids, whatever your name is. We're just gonna take what you said, right? Increased protein, increased fat loss. Well, what happens if you increase carbs? Let's say you took an extra 40 grams of protein and you lost fat, right? If you take in, if you take that protein out and you add in 40 grams of carbs, 
Is that going to have the same effect? No, right? And you're going to agree with that because you're talking about protein. So let's say we took out that 40 grams of um, carbs and we put in 22.5 grams of fat because it's half the amount of calories. Is that going to get the same effect as if we put the 40 grams of protein in there? No. Why? Because what I've been saying for the last eight fucking years, all macros are not created equal. All calories are not equal. If the protein is increased, you're going to get a certain effect. If the carbs are increased, you're going to get a certain effect and it's not the same effect as the protein. If you increase the fat, you're going to get the same effect as possibly the carbs because it's being used for energy. But hormonally, your body needs that fat to create hormones, fat-soluble vitamins. So you can't take in carbohydrates to digest fat-soluble vitamins. You can't take in carbohydrates to create hormones. You can't take in protein to create more hormones. The basis of the hormones is from the cholesterol and the fats that you're taking in. Every macro has a fucking place. And they're not all created equal. They cause weight loss, fat loss, muscle gain, muscle loss, all at different fucking rates in different ways. That's what I've been fucking saying. And you assholes say shit like this that is so like blatantly fucking stupid that the average person is still getting confused because of you assholes. That's why they're confused. I cannot say this shit. I have said it every single fucking way, up, down, high, low, no matter what. I've twisted and turned this fucking thing, turned it inside out, flipped it upside down, put it underwater, put it on the moon. I have put it in every fucking way, shape, and form so that someone can understand that I can't do it any more simple. The only thing I haven't done is tried it in fucking Chinese and other languages that fucking maybe people don't speak English. But each macronutrient has a job. The macronutrients cannot cross over all the time and do things that the other macronutrients can do. Fat and carbs cannot do the same thing that protein does. It can't do it. It's impossible. It will never fucking happen. That being said, the calories from carbohydrates, the calories from fats, and the calories from protein are not all equal, meaning it's not just about the calories. That quote-unquote deficit that many of you talk about, you don't even understand how that deficit changes throughout the day, changes throughout the hours, changes throughout the weeks. All you guys do is know that there's an in and out. That's it. Calories in, calories. That's all you know. What you don't even understand is there are days where your calorie output, okay, is going to be more even if you're not working out. Half of you only think, well, if I'm doing leg day today, I'm going to have more calorie output. Do you realize the day after leg day, you're still burning a fuck ton more calories. And even if you're in maintenance, you're going to be in a fucking deficit that day. Even if you're in a slight surplus, you might wind up in a deficit from training the legs the, the day before and the day that you're healing. You don't even understand that. You don't understand that metabolism changes for up to two to three days. You don't even understand that metabolism changes over 24 hours. Many of you don't even understand how to stimulate metabolism. You're just trying to outrun calories. You're trying to go in there and say, I need to burn 400 calories so I can get 400 calories off my body. Whereas somebody who really is not just stuck to the science shit will go, there's 24 hours in a day. You're going to burn 400 calories on that fucking bike. You may lose fucking a pound this week, but guess what? I'm going to go lose five pounds this week. And you know what? I'm not going to cut my fucking calories. I'm going to manipulate my fucking macros. And I'm going to fucking do cardio the way that I need to do it. And I'm not going to burn 400 calories in the treadmill. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to burn 37 calories in that fucking treadmill. 37 calories a day. I'm not going to put myself in a fucking deficit. And guess what? I'm going to lose five pounds when you lose your one to two pounds. What do you think about that? And they'll say impossible. And then I'll fucking step on the scale and it's down five pounds. And they go, well, you must use drugs. Not drugs. Many, many, many of my clients are not on drugs. They're 100% natural. I have clients all over the fucking world that don't use drugs. And those motherfuckers get better results than the people doing drugs in America here. Why? Why is that possible? Because everybody thinks it's so fucking simple and it's not. It's more, way more complicated than you think it is. It is so much more complicated per individual that you assholes giving out this advice like eat protein and lose fucking... Eat. If you eat protein, you're going to deficit. What the fuck? That's one of the dumbest fucking things I've ever heard in my goddamn life. Eating protein does not put you in a fucking deficit. Eating protein does not necessarily burn more fucking calories because you ate protein. What happens is if you're training like that study said, because this fucking video was about a study, if you're training like a fucking bodybuilder, which most of the people are not out there, if you increase the protein, it increases muscle mass, which when increased muscle mass, your body fat level, even if you didn't lose a single pound of body fat, your fucking body fat percentage goes down because of the higher body weight now. So automatically it looks like you lost body fat, but people don't know about that. But let's say that you did have one more pound of muscle mass on your fucking body. That in turn takes more calories to sustain that metabolically active tissue, which then technically would put you in a deficit, but it's not because you ate the protein. It's because you ate the protein with the fucking training together. 
So take your stupid, basic, bitch bullshit that you have here, shove it up your fucking ass, pull it out of your mouth, wash it off, because then it's going to be gross, and fucking throw it in the trash, okay? Because we don't want the trash guys or the dump or the landfills to get any of the shit that's fucking coming out of your mouth or out of your fucking fingers on them. Okay? Get rid of that shit. Stop being a fucking dingleberry. Just cut the shit all the way around and pay attention. I just said how it works. That's it. I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't care how many PhDs you are. I don't give a fuck if you have a PhD from Harvard, Yale, Brown, fuck it, every other goddamn Ivy League college. I don't give a fuck if you learn how to create and clone humans. I don't give a fuck if you put your fucking self on Mars and lived. It doesn't change the fact of what I said is fucking reality. And these assholes who act like this guy was smug as fuck and cocky as shit and said a stupid fucking statement. Like all you have to do is eat protein. It puts you in a fucking deficit. You lose calories, by, you lose fat by eating protein. What the fuck? Do you know how much more goes to that equation than that? But no, you put it up there like you know for a fact. I bet you. I bet you any fuck. I bet, I bet a million dollars in my bank account right now. Here's a million dollars. I don't know. Fuck. That no matter what you know, what you think, I could still get faster results than you. I could still take a client who's fucking trained half the time as you, or maybe twice, whatever, whatever you wanted, and still get that motherfucker to outdo you in the same amount of time. Because you don't understand. Knowing is not understanding. It's not the same fucking thing. Truly understanding how something works takes time. It takes studying. And I don't mean studying by fucking looking at it on a computer screen. When a scientist or a doctor does studying, they'll read the research. Then they have to do field studies. They actually go in the fucking field into the different surgeries, into the different fucking operations, into the different fucking things that they're doing. Maybe it's in a Petri dish. I don't know. But they have to go in the field to see how that fucking stuff reacts. Then they talk to other people to see what they've seen in other instances with those same fucking things. That is studying. And then what they do is they replicate it over and over and over again before they say, this is it. That's how that works. Many people read something and they I know, I have knowledge. No, you don't. You have memorization of something that you don't really understand. You may know how to say it and sound like you say it, but that's why so many people are getting fucked up because you people are out there talking like this. They think you know, and they know, think they know less than you. These fucking people listening to you probably know more than you. And they're over here listening to you, getting fucking slow results, quitting because you know what? It's not working. They get discouraged. They're like, fuck it, I'm out. But this, this is the shit. This is why the internet fucking sucks. The internet is the most amazing thing in the world, but it sucks because of this. Because any asshole in the world can act like a fucking expert and actually not know shit, mislead people so it takes them longer to attain their fucking goals and sit back and be like, yep, there we go. I helped everybody. No, you didn't. You fucked everything up. So in turn, then I got to make the video to prove that you fucked everything up just by pulling apart your goddamn fucking sentence that you thought was going to save the fucking world because Jerry doesn't understand. Does Jerry understand now? Fuck yeah, Jerry understands. Why don't you try to get gmail.com? Leave comments down below, but don't fight. Doctrine of the blog, I understand shit, bicep, and we are out.